Do you have an online store built with Shopify and you're looking to drive more sales with an abandoned cart email automation? Well, Shopify allows you to connect with a powerful marketing platform called Klaviyo, which then allows you to simply set up an abandoned cart email flow in just a few minutes to help your Shopify store drive more conversions. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to another video and if it's your first time visiting this channel, thanks for joining me. Now today I'm going to gently take your hand and walk you through the simple step-by-step -step process of setting up an abandoned cart email flow inside of Klaviyo so that you can convert more of your Shopify website visitors into customers. Okay, so before you go ahead and launch into Klaviyo, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll start dated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and set up an abandoned cart email flow. <music> Okay, so the first thing that we need to do once you've arrived inside your Shopify store is install the Klaviyo app inside Shopify. Now, if it's your first time using Klaviyo and you're yet to install the Klaviyo app, then what we'll do is walk you through that process now to install Klaviyo onto Shopify. If you've already done this, then you can skip to the next chapter. Okay, so what we need to do is navigate over to Add Apps and then navigate down to Shopify App Store. Simply navigate up to the search bar and type in Klaviyo. Then once you hit enter, what you want to do is locate the Klaviyo email marketing and SMS app. Go ahead and click here. Then come down and simply click add app. Here we want to locate install app and click here. Then go ahead and add your password for your Shopify store and then log in. Go ahead and add your sender name. We're going to keep our business name added in here. Then add the sender email address. Then come down and click continue. Go ahead and select your goal. We're just going to click earn more revenue. And then we're going to select email only. Now you can also engage in SMS marketing within Klaviyo. However, today we're just going to focus on the Klaviyo abandoned cart email sequence. And here all we need to do is activate our account by clicking the link that is sent to the email you use to sign up to Shopify. And the activation email that you'll receive from Klaviyo inside your email inbox will look like this. Then go ahead and click confirm email. And that's going to take you directly inside your fresh Klaviyo account. Now if we navigate up to get started, you can see the goal that we selected earlier earn more revenue. And because we selected this goal, Klaviyo recommends that we start setting up a abandoned cart email flow. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, before we do that, if you're completely new to Klaviyo and you want to learn how to actually navigate through all the different features that Klaviyo offers in terms of email marketing activities, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get started with Klaviyo. However, in this tutorial, we're just going to focus on creating an abandoned cart email flow. To do that, we're actually going to navigate up to flows over on the left hand side. And basically, email flows are different types of email sequences that you can select. And each of these sequences down here or email flows have multiple emails that will be sent automatically based on a specific trigger and a specific goal. So what we're going to do is navigate over to abandoned cart and then come down and click on get started. Now the best way to create an abandoned cart email, especially if it's your first time, is by using one of these templates. And if it's your first time creating an email flow inside Klaviyo, the best way to do this is by selecting one of these templates. And the template we're going to use is the abandoned cart email. And this is what our abandoned cart flow will look like before we've made any changes to this email flow. At the top level, you can see that we have a trigger when someone starts the checkout. Then four hours later, when the checkout is abandoned, you can see that this email is sent. So this is what we call a time delay. Once this abandoned cart email flow is triggered and started, four hours later, the first email will be sent. Then if the potential customer does not convert from this email, 
20 hours later, which is another time delay, the second email will be sent. And if we navigate over to the left hand side, we can also add additional actions. For example, another email to our abandoned cart flow. We can also add another time delay and then more options down here like a conditional split if we want to split test our abandoned cart email flow. Okay, so first what we want to do is navigate up to wait for hours. Now I'm actually going to change this by clicking on this time delay and navigating over to the left hand side and turning this into one hour and then come down and click on save. So as you can see, after this abandoned cart flow has been triggered, one hour later, this first email will be sent. So let's go ahead and customize the first email that potential customers will receive once they abandoned the checkout. And remember, this is sent after one hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and customize the first email that our potential customers will receive after one hour if they abandoned their cart. To do that, simply navigate up to these three dots and then click on edit. And when it comes to customizing each email, we first want to navigate over to subject line and add a subject line. At the moment, we have this default subject line that I'm currently happy with. We can also go ahead and add an emoji if we like, then come down and add a preview text. Then come down and add the sender name and sender email address. Now remember we added these earlier when we set up Klaviyo. So you want to keep these the same throughout your email flow. And the sender name is who is actually sending this email. Your recipients will see the sender name and the sender email address. Then what we want to do is navigate over to the right hand side and click on edit email. And this is where we can customize the first email that is automatically sent to our potential customers that abandoned their cart. If we navigate over to the left hand side, you can see that we can select any of these blocks and drag them over onto our email. So for example, if we wanted a logo, what I could do is simply drag the image and place that below the heading up here. And I can navigate over to browse and then upload import. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload a logo. And this is the image that I wanna upload. I can also come down and edit the image I'm going to resize and then use percentages. I'm happy with 70% and then click apply and then save. Now I'm gonna navigate down and click center aligned and I'm happy with this basic logo for the purpose of today's tutorial. Now, if you wanna create a logo for your business completely for free, if you haven't done so already, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of using the free design tool called Canva to create your own logo completely for free. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you currently do not have a logo. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is navigate up to the header and click here and come down and change this header text. And I'm happy with that. Now you also have other formatting options up above that you can leverage. However, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and then navigate down the page. Now we can also click on any of these elements. So for example, this text element, and we can change this text element if we like. Also, if we navigate down here, we have another text element. All you need to do is simply click on these block elements and then customize the content over on the left hand side. And up here we have a dynamic block element. Basically what this is, is this is going to generate the abandoned cart items that your potential customers have left in their cart. Now what we can do is navigate back over to blocks and let's say we want to add another block element. I'm gonna go ahead and add the social links element to the bottom of our email. I can navigate up to type and come down and click Facebook. And then all I would do is link my Facebook business page I can also come down and add an additional button and select the type and this could be Instagram and then one more I'm going to go ahead and add button customize and this could be Pinterest and I'm happy with that and you can go ahead and add additional buttons if you like however what you want to do is make sure that you add the link for each of these social profiles and then click save. So as you can see, it's very straightforward to customize your email. We can also navigate over to styles. We can come down and change the overall style of our email. So for example, text, links, the headings, the heading two, three. We can change the format of each of the different headings as well as the different text elements. Then again, when you're happy, click save. And you can also navigate down and preview your email. 
We can also navigate over to the far right hand side and we can click on mobile to preview what our email will look like on mobile as well as on desktop. Then when you're happy with your email, simply navigate up to save and return. And that's going to take us back to our abandoned cart email flow. Now down here is the first email that we've customized that is part of the email flow. Now after 20 hours from when this email was sent, the second email will be sent if the customer has not converted from this email. So what I'm going to do is come down to this time delay, click here, and I'm going to change this time delay to 6 hours. And then come down and click on save. So again, if we navigate back up to the trigger, as soon as this trigger is activated, the checkout is started. One hour later, if the potential customer has not converted yet, then this email will be sent. Then if the potential customer has not converted from this abandoned cart email one, then six hours later, the abandoned cart email two will be automatically sent. And what you wanna do is navigate up to these three dots, come down and click on edit. And we just showed you the exact process of customizing your emails. So go ahead, customize email two. And then what you can do if you like is navigate over to time delay, drag this and place this below abandoned cart email two. And what we're gonna do is navigate over to set this delay for, and I'm gonna add one day. And we can also navigate over here and click on hours or minutes. I'm happy with one day. Then I'm gonna navigate down and click on save. Then I'm going to send a third email. I'm simply going to navigate down and drag and drop this email down here. Now we can also go ahead and let's say I wanted to delete this email. I can also navigate up to email one and I could navigate over to these three dots, come down and click on clone. And that's going to duplicate this email. Let's say that I've created this email and I love the look of this email. I'm going to reuse this email design and customize it slightly. So what I'm going to do is click on this copied email and drag this below the time delay of one day. And I'm going to click on this third email. I'm going to navigate up to the name and I'm going to change the name to abandoned cart email three. And I'm happy with that. I'm going to come down and click on done and then navigate over to these three dots and then come down and click on edit. Now, like I've showed you, what I would do is navigate through the process of customizing the flow content as well as the campaign itself. Now, what I could do is add a discount on the third email. So if the customer, the potential customer does not convert from email one and email two, then the third email could be an amazing deal. I could add a discount on the email itself to entice that potential customer to convert. And if you want to learn how you can create a discount code and add that to your email, what I'll do is add a link up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of creating a discount code and using that in the third email. Okay, so once you've taken the time to customize email one, two, and three, what you want to do is navigate back to done. And once you've completed customizing your email flow, simply navigate up to review and turn on. Then come down and click on turn on. And congratulations, just like that, you've enabled your abandoned cart email flow with Klaviyo so that when your potential customers on Shopify, they abandoned their cart, this email flow, this automated email flow will be triggered. What we're going to do is exit out of this and navigate up to exit. And you can see that this abandoned cart email flow is activated. What we can do is navigate over to this drop down. And as you can see, this abandoned cart email flow is activated. Now what we can do is navigate over to edit flow. And that's going to take us back to our email flow. Now if we click on show analytics, you can see the analytics for each of the different emails. For example, abandoned cart email one, you can see the open rate, click rate, and the orders placed. And we also have the same analytics for each of these emails. Now we can also navigate up to manage flow and we can view the flow history if we like, as well as edit the details. Now, if we click on update action statuses, we can navigate down and we can click on draft and click on update statuses. And that will disable your email flow and turn all your different emails into drafts, which you can start customizing again before you go ahead and review and turn on your email flow. However, that is everything we wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you set up a Klaviyo Abanacart email flow. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Klaviyo and Shopify tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this process of setting up an abandoned cart email flow inside of Klaviyo, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.